Hey there, this is Books with Becky, and I'm Becky. I hope you all had a great week. I'm so excited to see you here, and I'm very excited to share this new book with you that we're going to be starting today called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse by Charlie McKezzy. I knew as soon as I saw this book that I needed to share it with you guys because it, first of all, is so beautiful. The illustrations are amazing. Even the text is really interesting. And it's just a great story about friends, some of them very unlikely. There's a fox and a mole, and I'm pretty sure that foxes eat moles. So that should be interesting. What do you say we get started? The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse by Charlie Maxey. This book is dedicated to my lovely, kind mom and my wonderful dog, Dill. Hello. You started at the beginning, which is impressive. I usually start in the middle and never read introductions. It's surprising that I've made a book because I'm not good at reading them. The truth is, I need pictures. They are like islands, places to get to in a sea of words. This book is for everyone, whether you are 80 or 8. I feel like I'm both sometimes. I'd like it to be one you can dip into anywhere, anytime. Start in the middle if you like, scribble on it, crease the corners, and leave it well thumbed. The drawings are mainly of a boy, a mole, a fox, and a horse. I'll tell you a little bit about them, although I'm sure you'll see things here that I don't, so I'll be quick. The boy is lonely when the mole first surfaces. They spend time together gazing into the wild. I think the wild is a bit like life, frightening sometimes, but beautiful. In their wanderings, they meet the fox. It's never going to be easy meeting a fox if you're a mole. The boy is full of questions, the mole is greedy for cake, the fox is mainly silent and wary because he's been hurt by life. The horse is the biggest thing they have ever encountered and also the gentlest. They are all different like us and each has their own weaknesses. I can see myself in all four of them, perhaps you can too. Their adventures happen in springtime where one moment snow is falling and the sun shines the next, which is also a little bit like life. It can turn on a sixpence. I hope this book encourages you, perhaps, to live courageously with more kindness for yourself and for others, and to ask for help when you need it, which is always a brave thing to do. When I was making the book, I often wondered, who on earth am I to be doing this? But, as the horse says, the truth is everyone is winging it. So I say spread your wings and follow your dreams. This book is one of mine. I hope you enjoy it and much love to you. Thank you, Charlie. Hello. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy. But make a huge difference. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. What do you think success is? asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Well, hello. Do you have a favorite saying? asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see. Does it work? Every time. Just a tiny taste. I got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you? Yes. Where is it? I ate it, said the mole. Oh, but I got you another. Did you? Where is that one? The same thing seems to have happened. What do you think is the biggest waste of time? Comparing yourself to others, said the mole. 
I wonder if there is a school of unlearning. Most of the old moles I know wish they had listened less to their fears and more to their dreams. What is that over there? It's the wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Imagine how we would be if we were less afraid. I'm not afraid, said the mole. If I wasn't caught in this snare, I'd kill you, said the fox. If you stay in that snare, you will die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. I've learned how to be in the present. How? asked the boy. I find a quiet spot and shut my eyes and breathe. That's good. And then? Then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake, said the mole. Isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. Be careful not to fall. Oh, so much beauty we need to look after. Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the mole. We often wait for kindnesses, but being kind to yourself can start now, said the mole. Often the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole, but we love you and love brings you home. I think everyone is just trying to get home, said the mole. Hello. Hello. Doing nothing with friends is never doing nothing, is it? Asked the boy. No, said the mole. You fell, but I've got you. Everyone is a bit scared, said the horse, but we are less scared together. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not weakness. What is the bravest thing you've ever said? Asked the boy. Help, said the horse. Asking for help is very brave. And I hope you guys are brave enough to ask for help when you need it. I just loved that story. So I hope you stick with me for the second half we'll be reading next week. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. <music>